Oh, hi. So I put up a poll on my community tab last week asking what series you guys would like to see more of and over 70% of you picked technique tryouts so I'm happy to announce that over 70% of this month's content is going to be me trying out different artists techniques and styles. And we're going to kick off this month by taking a look at someone that I've been following for the longest time, Mark Brunet. And today we're going to take a look at his tutorial called how to paint skin like a pro because let's face it we could all use some help painting skin. This is in no way a replacement for his tutorial, please go watch it, it is amazing and there is so much to learn from all of his content. And this is also not a style study because instead of looking at the end product, we're actually going to look at how his techniques translate to my style and if they work just as well as they do for him. As always, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, then please do let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and leaving a comment below. Hit that subscribe button because like I said, the rest of this month's videos are going to be on a very similar vein. All right, let's look at another technique tryout. I don't know how I do the hands for this, but let's look at a technique tryout featuring Marc Brunet. <laughs> All right, so the biggest takeaway from this technique seems to be the Terminator, which as he explains it, is a saturated red transition between the highlight and mid-tone colors. But we'll get to that at the end of this video because there is way more to learn before that step. Today I'm going to be working on this painting, which is the fourth piece in the Light Zodiac series. And just because we're really extra on this channel, I'm going to be applying these techniques to not one, but two separate characters in this painting. But first I want to give myself the best shot at really nailing this tutorial. So I've gone ahead and downloaded his free brush pack that was linked in the description of this tutorial. And for the sake of this video, I did start out trying my very best to only use his brushes for the skin. In, but about halfway in I realized that they're just not for me these brushes are just not my type of brushes so I did end up switching back but they are really good brushes anyway so you guys might enjoy them I personally kind of didn't so as with all the brush packs I've ever tried, I like to test run every brush to see how it functions. This is mostly just me scribbling on a blank canvas trying to get a feel for how each and every brush in this pack works. For today, I'm going to stick to this pack and my essentials pack, but in general I like to try and find brushes that I really love so that I can pop them into my permanent collection. Alright, so with all of that done, let's dive into this tutorial. Mark likes to start by creating a flat layer of mid-tone. He keeps the liner on top of this layer just so that when you're painting the flat you're not painting over any of the sketch at all. So here I first started by using the pen tool to outline all the way around my characters creating a close silhouette. I can then turn this outline into a selection and fill it in with a paint bucket. Here's the thing, since these characters actually have more than just skin, i.e. there's hair, clothing and jewelry, I generally block in a dark low saturated cyan color just so that as we get through this painting we're able to clip all of our layers into this flat silhouette. I also like to clip the sketch to this layer just so we don't end up with stray pencil scratches in the end product. Alright, so I'm gonna go for a fairly pale tone for the dad here and maybe tan and warm the skin up a little more for the daughter just so we have a bit of variety. For the mid-tone or the half-tone as he calls it, Mark suggests picking a mid-value skin tone that isn't too saturated. So we want it to look slightly cool toned but not fully grey either. Having picked a colour for each character, I'm going to go in with a hard round brush with 100% opacity and just very roughly flatten the skin. Personally, I like to keep the skin layer at the very bottom and then build up all of the elements on top of it, so this is actually really helpful to be painting the skin first. So here's what the sketch looks like with the flats. Thank you. 
So this is where things get a lot different to my usual workflow. As you guys know, I always like to start with the shadows first because it really helps me set a precedent for how dark things will get. However, we've started with the midtones today, so things are about to get a little interesting. In the tutorial, Mark suggests creating a new layer above the flat skin tone so I don't bamboozle myself, which I really appreciate someone who can read my soul like that. And we're gonna set the layer to multiply. We're actually not going to change the color whatsoever, so we're still picking the same color that we used in the flat mid-tone below. However, because the layer is set to multiply, when we put down the same exact color, it's going to darken everything underneath it. One extra consequence of this is that the multiply layer doesn't just darken everything underneath. Since we've chosen a color that's not super gray, it is also going to slightly saturate the color underneath. And this is perfect because you actually want the shadow to be more saturated than the midtone just to complement it really nicely. So I'm going to go in on a new multiply layer and pick the exact same color as the flat and paint in some shadows. For this painting, I want fairly warm light coming in from behind the two characters so most of the shadow is going to be facing us head on. However, I don't want to go too dark because this is supposed to be a light zodiac painting. Since we don't really have a direct light hitting the front of the face, most of the shadows are going to be ambient occlusion, meaning they're going to be fairly diffused and blended at the edges. Again, the sketch layer is still on top of everything so we can really diffuse those shadows without worrying too much about losing our placement markers for all the features. Now technically this part of the tutorial came from a different video which I had actually watched a while ago, so he mostly speed runs this part in this specific video. However, if I recall correctly, Mark likes to add the light on a different layer which is set to hard light. That way you can pick a ridiculously bright colour and it will still look believable on the skin. So I'm going to start by creating a new layer and setting the blending mode to hard light. Since we have a bright green forest behind the character, I want a nice yellowy greeny colour for the key light here. And like he says in the tutorial, since we have a fairly desaturated midtone, the grey in the midtone is going to make it appear cooler toned. So when we pick a highlight colour, we need it to complement the rest of the tones in the skin. And of course, if your mid and shadow tones are warmer, you should probably go for a cooler light just to add balance, as he says in the tutorial. Now, picking a warm greenish yellow is probably as warm as it gets without going pure yellow, which works out really nicely for us since the rest of the skin is cooler toned. I'm focusing most of this color on the outermost edges of both the characters, specifically areas that would face backwards towards the light. And because we're extra in this house, I'm also going to create a bit of a secondary light, which will be a little more orangey red, just to make sure that the characters aren't straight up shadowy ghosts. Here's what I've ended up with after step three. Alright, let's get to the USP of this specific tutorial, which is the Terminator. Basically what this is, is a diffuse layer of red in between the highlight and midtone colours. Why? Because subsurface scattering. Subsurface scattering is when light enters your skin and hits the blood running underneath it. When it scatters and bounces around the blood vessels, it's going to reflect back a nice red colour. Unless you're a reptilian, in which case, how do I sell my soul to you? Because I am ready. Anyway, because, because the light is so scattered underneath the skin, when it bounces back out, the red is going to be a lot less bright than the strong light that directly hits the skin. And so the only places you actually get to to see the red is where the key light is dim enough that the scattered light can glow through. And that, children, is why you pretty much only see subsurface scattering right at the outer edge of the highlight, where it's weakening out and starting to blend into the midtone. Now, you can airbrush some red in between the highlight and midtone colors by hand, but if you do, Mark will probably call you a basic pleb. 
The way he suggests doing it is by creating an inner glow as a layer style on the highlight layer. And just because I don't get moderation, I'm going to try copying his layer style settings to the very digit. So I've picked a red inner glow and set it to hard light blending mode. The opacity is at 35% with zero noise. The technique is set to precise, source is edge, choke and soften are both set to zero, range at 55% and jitter at zero. And boom, that's your Terminator. And it took less than a minute because it automatically applies the style to all of the edges in the highlight. Dang, man, that really made a massive difference. If you guys want to see me paint the rest of these characters and add the final polish to this painting, I have it all up on Patreon. But this is the next installment in my Light Zodiac series, Cancer. Cancer is the fourth sign of the Zodiac and it is a cardinal water sign, which signifies the transition from spring to summer. Ruled by the moon, Cancer is the archetypal parent as it is both warm and intuitive. As I mentioned with the dark Cancer painting, the crab is set to symbolize Carquinos, a giant crab that bit Hercules on the heel while he was fighting Hydra. Hercules stepped on the crab and destroyed it, but his mother Hera, taking pity on the creature, spread its remains across the sky as the constellation of Cancer. Here, I've shown Cancer as the quintessential parent, just having a fun day with his daughter, splashing around by the river and pointing out butterflies. His large crab legs surround them both protectively, but he wears no external armor since he finds his strength in vulnerability. Here is Cancer the nurturing. As a whole, this was definitely a very different way to how I normally paint skin, and as lovely as it turned out, I did end up having to go back in and readjust the shadows quite a bit, just because I'm not used to starting with midtones instead of shadows. So as far as values are concerned, I think I'm gonna stick to starting with shadows and then moving up to midtones and highlights. However, the highlight and terminator step Ooh, my mind is blown. I am so impressed at how easy and effective it is and how much life it adds to the skin. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this, but it might just become part of my permanent workflow. I know, I know, I know, but look how good the end result is, like how can you not? So a massive thank you to Marc Brené for this amazing video, I have learned so much and I know I probably don't need to say this, you guys already know him, but if you haven't checked him out yet, go check him out, I will leave a link to his channel down below, um, there is so much you can learn from his videos. As always, if you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then please do let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Will you be trying this technique out? Let me know how it works for you or if it does doesn't work for you in the comments below. As always, there's more tutorials on my channel here, so hit that subscribe button. And there's even, even more um, tutorials over on my Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. The link is in the video description. But with all of that said, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Check out some more tutorials up here and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.